Howdy folks, you're watching Deuce, and today we were not talking about these 22 pistols. But what we are talking about is the ammo that feeds these 22 pistols. Now right now we were in an ammo crunch, but forever and a day, as far back as I can remember, we have always been looking for really good, accurate 22 ammo that was really cheap. So this video still, still maintains that and also is what's available usually for me locally today. And that is the Arms Corps Precision Ammo. Now, Arms Corps is an interesting company. They, uh, there's really two, two sides of this company. Number one is the Arms Corps USA. And that ammo box has this insignia here usually on it. And that means that ammo was manufactured either under contract or by Arms Corps themselves within the United States. But there's also Arms Corps Precision, which has that logo on it, which is what this 22 is made from. And that stuff is made by Arms Corps in the Philippines. When I first procured several boxes of this ammo, I took it to the farm and tested it out in my two pistols here. The Ruger 2245, both suppressed and unsuppressed, and the Taurus TX-22, both suppressed and unsuppressed. As you see, it has a neat muzzle brake there from Longshot. It's really, it's pretty cool. It's, it's more of a threat protector, but it is pretty cool as well. So let's go to the farm and take a look at that footage right now. I've got a new target set up here that I'm going to test out today. It's very simplistic stuff, but it's basically clips that go onto this one by one. Now these are gonna break and fall at the, the first sign of an impact. No idea, but we'll find out. Now let's take a closer look at this ammo we got here. We've got a brick of 500 and it comes in 10 individual boxes which I like to see. The Federal bulk ammo is nice and good, but it is just a box full of loose ammo. This, you can grab one box at a time if you want to. And, wow, this is, is it glued in? It is. All right, looks like we have a kind of brass washed lead hollow point there, 36 grain of course. Supposed to be high velocity. Oh, take a look at that. Take a look inside the box. We have our own little target. Get a nice clean cut there, so then, we have a good place to staple this onto some cardboard. Yeah, take a look at that. Nice. Standard 25 meter target. We're about 10 yards away on this very hot Tennessee summer day in August. I have the target camera set up ready to go, as you can see right there. And we're gonna be shooting a suppressed Taurus TX-22 pistol. This is one of my favorite recent pistol purchases. It uh, holds a ton of rounds, as you can see right there. And it has been very reliable with pretty much any type of ammo I put in it. It is reasonably accurate. It is threaded from the factory and is not that expensive to buy. So let's go ahead and give it a shot here. Of course, no, uh, I got my eyes on. Don't need my ears because my ears are on the pistol. Got that edge right there. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> right through the center out right there, nice. That is neat. I did not expect to be able to shoot multiple times into each target, uh, into each clay target. One issue right off the bat with this ammo is the fact that it is greasy. It is very greasy to your fingertips. It's got that, that nasty grease or wax or whatever on the bullet and on the entire case. So bear in mind on that, you're gonna get that all over your fingers, especially on a hot day like today. So it did bear well with pistols at the farm. But what about a longer distance? What about a bench range application with rifles? Well, I gathered up my more commonly owned rifles and went down to the shooting range. I always love going down to the shooting range in adverse conditions. Whether it's raining or snowing or just super cold or when it's super hot. I just like being down there because that means I have a thousand acres of range, usually to myself, which is pretty sweet.
the Marlin Model 60. This is completely unmodified except for having a 3 to 9 power loophole scope and it has an M-Carbo trigger spring kit in it, which lowers the spring pre or the trigger pressure down a few pounds. It's still, it's still not crazy hair trigger light, but it is better than factory. Other than that, completely stock rifle here. And here is the target that I ended up with right there. That is 10 rounds, I believe. On a repeatable basis, I was able to muster a 50 yard group of under 1.2 inches. And I personally think that is pretty good for a budget ammunition shot in what many people would consider a budget firearm. Now it's not glass, but a budget firearm, the Merlin Model 60, almost completely factory stock. The Savage B-22. Normally, this Savage is my go-to for a super accurate 22. But like many 22 applications, this rifle did not really like the Arms Corps ammo. I've really not found something that's super, super light, but it usually shoots stuff much better than this. Unfortunately, the 50 yard group I was able to manage is 1.7 inches. And this is supposed to be a very accurate rifle, but this combination did not like the Arms Corps ammo. 22 rifles and pistols can be finicky, and this is proof of that. Luckily, I brought the bell of the ball, my Ruger 1022. It is fairly modified. It has a stock trigger group, but it does have a nice Vortex Crossfire 2 scope on it and an ER Shaw barrel, a very heavy ER Shaw barrel. And it really, really liked the Arms Corps ammo. Here is the 50 yard target right there, and that measures under an inch at 50 yards. Now, I cannot tell you how a stock 1022 from the factory will do with this Arms Corps ammo. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below the video, but the ER Shaw barreled 1022 loves this stuff. Now, is it the most accurate I've ever seen this rifle? No, I've had this, I've had this close to one inch at 100 yards versus one inch at 50 yards, but I'll bet one inch at 50 yards is probably about as good as this Arms Corps ammo can muster. And a decently optioned Ruger 1022 seems to be the, it seems to fit the bill for this ammunition. So what I do is recommend Arms Corps 22 ammo. Well, if it were in an ammo crunch or ammo crisis right now, what I would recommend is buy a brick, buy a 500 round brick, and then try it in all your 22 applications and see if anything likes it. If it does, great, buy more. If it doesn't, move on to something else. But in today's ammo crunch and ammo crisis, if you come across some Arms Corps 22 ammo, buy it. Just buy it. <laughs> it should be fine. It's, it's not going to be the most accurate in every single application, 
But if you got a fairly decently modded 1022 or a standard Marlin Model 60, it's going to shoot that pretty well. Some of the Savage options, maybe it does, maybe it does not. Remember, 22 is a finicky firearm and finicky ammo, but it will go bang and it will hit the target for the most part. And it will be fun to shoot. All 22s are, are practice and fun to shoot. And you will get that from Arms Corps Ammo. That is it for me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. That really helps out the channel. And if you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, leave that in the comment box of the video. I try to get to as many of those as possible. And as always, you guys have a great day. See ya.